what up bitches so there's a reason why we're doing a team build to start off the year which we have never done and it, it is time sensitive to also put out there but joe mauer the collection to do them look at the team you can build that's the important part you can build an 88 diamond team while getting a really damn good catcher card for cheaper than mike trout now obviously the cost will be subject to change these are pre-order cards that you have to buy and because of that as time goes along they will become more and more expensive because there will be less on the market until they put packs out which usually takes i mean if past is any indicator probably a month maybe even more so that being said obviously the point of this video joe mauer 117 contact versus right 105 contact versus left 88 pop versus right 76 power versus left 92 fielding 90 cannon i swear to god that's a 99 i've had him hose so many people where i even thought there was no hope no shot he just comes up gunning with 49 speed now keep in mind he's already parallel two for the rest of the team in right field we got aaron huge in center ken griffey in left andrew mccutcheon love him every year one of the best cards on this team without a shadow of a doubt obviously it goes to joe mauer but the the non-collection reward the best one miguel cabrera they've made him so much better this year last year they improved the swing they improved it yet again he's got godly stats hopefully he shows it for us but i can show you what he's been doing when we've been using our god squad money and i get it lower difficulties you're always going to have you know elevated numbers your numbers will be better than usual but i'm i'm just reflecting his swing he crushes the ball titties at short javi Baez at second howard at first and of course last but not least joe mauer behind the plate on the bench we do have 88 josh donaldson he's got one of the better swings every year again for a card that's 30k and miguel cabrera 30 to 35k i feel like you have to get him on your team some way somehow you can use him at first you can use him at third like i am you can use him in left or right i think wait yeah you can use him in left or right if you're feeling like a daredevil if you really want to be stupid by all means go for it but i digress as i was saying with josh donaldson one of the better swings every year you could put miguel at first you then could get josh donaldson at third i don't think that's a bad move at all bryce harper could easily be in the outfield but i feel like with this team i want to have more righties than lefties and then david ortiz will be our other lefty bat off the bench the way we're stacking the team titties leading things off joe mauer in the two spot best hitter got to give him as many opportunities as possible he's in the two spot miguel cabrera hitting third howard cleanup judge mccutcheon griffey and javi baez hitting eight so we are currently rated 509 our warm-up game with this team didn't go hot so hopefully we can start hitting let's go ahead and hop right on into it our opponent for today is going to be she love joe dak he's got valenzuela on the mound a card last year thankfully he's not a diamond yet but last year most annoying card to begin what do we know that we're gonna see a lot of screwballs is he gonna throw first pitch oh you bet your sweet ass cheeks titties absolutely no power one down some things you know just don't change first inning are we gonna score probably not two down also if you guys want me to release a hitting tips video let me know i think there is definitely some good things you can do with the pci anchor i've been using it for lefties because the last year in 21 i i just i couldn't hit with lefty it didn't matter lefty righty lefty lefty couldn't do it this year much better still have to make some adjustments getting used to the pci anchor but it makes me feel a hell of a lot more comfortable so i feel like there's there's some new things we can add to spice things up make the hitting tips more improved than last year and that's what, more of what i mean we just missed it once we get used to the pci anchor in terms of how far i have to move it in certain directions no, it's going to be money it's going to be money and on the mound for us we're going to be using mike musina love hate relationship with him so far hate that he doesn't have a change up but i do love that we could throw some hot dots in amish just absolute mm, pitches just like that like i said though in a perfect world he would have that change up but you know we got to rely on the sliders of change up and a little bit of cutter at cock action his dick's out over the plate apparently yeah but yes you can use a slider like a change up just throw it low in the dirt or low and away works the same just got a little bit more tilt to it two down all right now let's actually execute and see if in the future yeah he's swinging but it didn't still get in enough base hit come on there we go diamond defense showing up get ourselves out of a little baby jam we got the middle of the lineup judge mccutcheon griffey we're getting a solo shot somewhere judge beat the shift just not the other way if i expect anyone to go off versus valenzuela it's going to be kutch i mean every year versus lefties gotta be one of the best 
Terry. Terry ball. That's getting down. I'm going. He's not catching that. Judge, we got to have better. Ba well, it doesn't matter. It would have been a ground rule double. You would have been stuck anyways. I mean, it gets the job done. We do get one run like I promised. But we're not continuing a rally. One down. Javi. Perfect. Perfect. Helicopter the bat at the pitcher. Three to zero. I mean, I mean, it's Mike. I mean, it's the pitcher spot. We'll get pitchers who rank when Otani's pitching. Two down. Titties. Yeah, warning shots can't mean hits. Not necessarily nukes. Cheat him. Get through. Oh, that's a hit in my book. That's not an air. 49 speed. He was beating it out anyways. Show me a hit. It's not an air. That a boy. Triple crown. Dicker down. Down the line. Staying just fair. Can we get two runs? 49 speed. I'm pushing it. it, it oh, this is going to be close. Come on, you fatty. Thank you. Five to zero. Ryan Howard, make it seven. Make it seven. Get up and carry ball. It's dying. It's dying. It's off the wall. 34 speed holding up at second. Six to zero. I'm telling you, this is why we do warm up games. Why? Usually the first. First game of the day, maybe even the second one of the day. I can't hit. But then we get a little a little bit of blood flowing into the thumbs. Oh, we're cracked. Slide step, change up, Dottimus Prime high and away. Oh, that's just nasty. Now let's introduce something a little new, a little spicy. Backdoor cut sluts nine. He don't want it. You know what he does want? Cutter at cock. Works 10 times out of 10. Oh, yeah. Stanley Steamer, ring her up. Get him out of my box. Yeah! No, let's test it. Obviously, the sinker is not going to be as located as you may want. Really not. Patatis, even with shite defense. Two down. Come on. Be aggressive. And we're going to take it. A one, two, three inning with a lot of luck. Cutch. I mean, that's peace. That screamed at him, and it's fair, especially for his last out. One down. That hurts. Two down. I have noticed this year, because this is something that doesn't apply just to lower difficulties. I imagine I, I, that would be wild if I'm wrong. But exit velocities are, what, five to 10 miles per hour higher than they have been since last year. I'm seeing 115s, 116s, 117 off exit velos off the bat. And here is where I put on my tinfoil hat, and we're going to talk about a conspiracy that we will have to test as Javi Baez absolutely cornholes him yet again. I think. A little bit of cord holy for everybody. Go around the bases. Seven to zero. But what I was saying about my tinfoil hat conspiracy, remember the years where Tony Gwen was absolutely one of the best, most dominant power hitters that the game has ever seen? Well, if exit velos are up, maybe could be the case. Mike? Mike getting a base hit. Pitchers who rake. Pitchers who f and, and, and we're dolphin diving in center. There's no way. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way that should carry. All right, Mike, let's just keep dotting. We're 14 pitches through two complete. Oh, yes, a steamer. Front door cut sluts nine. He don't want it. He don't want it. He fucking wants it. And uh, he's swinging. He's swinging. Ground ball to short. One down. For a budget team, Jesse Winker has to be at bare minimum on your bench. Has to. Maybe even for your God squad. Well, actually, now that I think about it, even on your God squad, even if you have really good left-handed hitters, if he's up versus right, who else? Two down. Rip it up. Rip it up. Rip it up. And, oh, yes, it's good to be back. All the things that usually work, oh, they work. Joe Maurer, that's a piss rocket. Get over his head. Not another line out to left. He's got a good swing, though. That's the important thing. He's got a good swing. He can go deep. He hits rockets. Miggy, dead center. Is it carrying? He's, he's doing the alcoholic swerve. It's dying. It's gone. It's gone. Have I told you about one of the best third basemen in the game? Eight to zero. I mean, god damn. Does that say fair? I mean, I've had perfect perfects go foul multiple times already this year. It's hitting off the foul pole. Ding! Nine to zero. 
All right, we're getting a little too horned up now. Two down. This is why McCutcheon's probably got to be a bench bat, though. You, you'll probably... You... This is why Andrew McCutcheon is the best card in the game. He's a cheat code. Triple. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't be hitting another perfect, perfect with Griffey for another out. We're turning it into 270 speed, 10 to 0. Go for a strike. I promise you we'll put it into the ninth row. I lied. I'm going to stare at it. All right. Here's a card that I did. And I'm challenging Mickey. I want to see if he's got the hose. Well, that's going to be offline. But talk about a card I didn't expect to necessarily go crazy. Javi Baez. Mike wanted it on the home run party. He wanted it. Like I said, well, Mike, you just you could just dot someone's life away. It's so fun at the beginning of a game. One down. Judge. Judge. I think we could catch it. A little, a little uh no, that wasn't a bunny hop. I don't know what I'm talking about. Two down. Come on, Mike. We're flawless. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you a no-hitter. A perfect game. It still counts, even if it's four innings. It's a mercy. Can I get a little bit of a Stanley steamer and a little bit of blow up? So we get a CG PG from Mike Musina. We go the hell off. Joe Maurer, he was one for three, but it was a line out. His first A B though. I mean everyone's first a b in the first inning absolutely horrendous but player of the game javi bias three for three two nukes four ribbies triple crown dicker down i mean like i said go get him 30 35k needed two for two home run double three ribbies ryan howard should have had two bombs mccutcheon honestly he's one for three i don't know what the hell happened in center field but let's get on to game number two and while we're waiting to get game number two we do have all collections done i did do a pack opening on stream I would have uploaded it to YouTube, but I didn't want to blue ball you guys. I'll just tell you how it went. I got fisted. I got work like a puppet through my ass. It was awful. Best card was Scherzer. And he's only 75K. We opened over 600 packs. And then the next tier below him, like the next, the second best card I got was worth 20K. Like I said, awful. We finally got ourselves game number two. And opponent number two is going to be Jake Baseball 142. He's got a titties. He's got Jim. He's got a lot of golds. A silver. A gold on the mound. Didn't pick up the name. Like on the higher difficulties, I know I'm going to like having Wedge. But on the lower difficulties, this thing looks huge. I, I just, I, I can't square up a ball. I, my, my brain can't handle it. We're going back to just diamonds. I don't know why that looked like light speed. Lower difficulties are eating me alive. One down. Don't, don't walk Joe Maurer. I'm giving him a green light on the 3-0. I mean, I could swing at that and be a complete idiot. He doesn't want to face him. Look at that. He could take walks. Miggy, come on, baby. Get up and get out. That's dying. It's dying. Come on, ball. Come on. Two down. Ryan Howard. Ah, it's just a beautiful pitch. You're not going to be able to get underneath it. We pieced it, but it's on the ground. No run scored in the first. Yet again. I'm telling you, first innings for me, I don't, I, I could be so hot. I ain't doing damage in the first. Come on, a little bit of smoke show, Jacob. I don't know if you hit 102. I know, I know you're injured, which sucks. But one down. Me and my man's got high averages with his cards. He should be able to swing it. Blah, blah. No, 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 no. My man raised no bitch. We're, we're really going to see. Can you actually hit? Yes. Throw in a butt dance. You dumb whore. That's what you get. And a perfect throw just for good measure. Two down. No bun dance, Jim. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to slide right your cock? Oh, he wants it, Blue. Give him one. No, oh, okay. Hoity toity dots in Amish. A little bit of smoke. All right, he likes the fastball. He likes the fastball, but a one, two, three inning for both of us. I'm going to get the run first. Middle of the lineup. Judge, Kutch, Griffey. Damage is coming. There's going to be a year where Aaron Judge, I am good with him. He's always got insane stats, but I just suck with players that are built like f***ing towers. Aaron Huge. That's got to die. I mean, if it doesn't, all right, there we go. One down. Damn it. Two down. That's a shift beater. That's a shift beater. I'm going to take it. Don't necessarily... I mean, I get how it's a ground ball. Just not how weak. Javi, split the cheeks. Split the gaps. Maybe even go Yabo. Get up, ball. Come on. Come on. It is a wall scraper on out. Again, haven't used him once this year. Javi Baez is killing it. Whew. Oh, Jacob DeGrom. 
just a little bit less underneath it that's probably gone but we do get two in the second like i said there's gonna be an inning where we really pop off although to be fair like i said every card that he's bringing up bro 500 plus average a little bit of dynamis prime i mean the par region is huge and i didn't really do well but it don't matter yeah 235 with jose Abreu. finally a card we should shocker his his probably worst card is the one getting the hit all right how is daddy gonna get you into a double play a little bit of two seam just out of the zone now, come on blue give him a check slider just off the plate roll me over he, blue come on he's been check swinging like a whore come on i'm probably gonna regret this but you know my mary is no bitch she probably should have but we're good come on roll it over roll it over or shrek out yeah all these power hitters, I was going to say, all these power hitters, and Gene Segura is going to one that pulls our pants down, but it's not going to happen. We get out of a little baby jam. We need more runs. Tatis, Maurer, Triple Crown, Dicker down. We're getting it done. That is the titties we love and know. Absolute moonshot. Kind of barely getting out of here. Three to zero. And a baby Joe. I mean, he's more of a gapper's guy like he was in real life. He does have power. He does hit it deep. He's got a couple home runs, but he really hits them doubles. Um, get Miggy. 30, 35K. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Hear me out. You'll love me. He's going to be one of your best cards. Please get him. Five to zero. And we're going to the bullpen. Or not necessarily, really. We're getting another starter, Scott Kazmir bleed bleed ball he's got to be playing deep and we're getting it to bleed on in another base hit I, I i just can't hit with like super tall guys i can't it is impossible double play we're gonna take ball four with Kutch. he don't like it and we're gonna take ball four yet again javi let me guess you're gonna walk javi yeah, you know a bitch when you see one. All right, pitchers who rake the Grom, right here, buddy. He tried. That's all you can ask for. Now the real funny thing will be, is he gonna take out Scott Casimir right now? His ninth batter's up. There's just no way. That's your second starter. But I have seen crazy shit before. He's leaving him in. Smart man. Come on, Jacob. Give him the gas. He don't want it. He don't want it. He don't want it. Oh, my God. He wants it. Two down. All right. What I meant to say earlier is he doesn't want it up and away. Or ends up low and away. But look, Aaron Judge. I mean, he's at least going to be there for something. Use his height for something for us. Saving us a base hit. Titties? Gapper? I don't think that's going to gap. And I don't think it's over the wall. One down. Joe Maurer. Come on, lefty, lefty crime. It's a laser beam. It's a laser beam. We get it on out. Lefty, lefty crime. Six to zero. Miggy. Miggy's doing it again. Miggy's pulling some pants down. <laughs> Never mind. Two down. Huh. Get down. Get down. I'm, we'll take it. Base hit. Uh, well, Aaron Judge is up. Odds are pretty high. The inning's over. Please get down. Please, please, ball. Let's go. 34 speed. No way in hell you're making it home. Although, never mind. We're going to push it. I don't know who's in right field. Does he have a cannon? It don't matter. 7 to 0. I'm not doing a good job of showing why you should use Kutch at bare minimum on your bench versus lefties, but take my word. Just don't look at the action. 67% accuracy, and I can still get it perfect. Oh, pinpoint got it easier. Oh, God. No, no, no. I accidentally clicked the button, Judge. We, we still got it. We still got it. It was up in the air for so long. Adam boy. Went to touch my nose. It was all part of the plan. It was all part of the... Part of the plan. That was not. Base hit. Imagine if two seams in this game moved like they did in real life. I mean, it worked right there. We're getting a double play. But two seams, there's got to be a year where they correct that, right? I want... In real life, some of the nastiest pitches... Or a two seam. They move so much. All right, just a little, just a little horned up there, Griffey. One down. There's absolutely zero shot that Javi goes deep again, right? 
Even when you suck, Javi's got your back. I am so... Wow, I thought his pitcher wasn't actually going to get that. See? Oh, well, that's going nowhere. But we swung at a strike. Baby steps. We're still going to get the mercy. Maybe in the sixth. Maybe in the seventh. We just need a couple more runs. Abreu, Killebrew, Tom Segura. I usually don't throw DeGrom's curveball. And there you go. That's exactly why you don't throw DeGrom's curveball. My bad, DeGrom. Every year. I mean, it's just it's my bad. I just always have to test it. I just have to. And it's Look at that. Wasn't a curveball. You, you get a routine fly. Not a three. Not even 300. Not not even 400. A 500 foot bomb. One down. I mean, unless there's a Gene Segura card that I don't know about that's somehow in the game, right? If he's got like a special card. I feel like for the same price that you're probably paying for Gene, there's got to be way better options, whether at second or short. There just has to be. Two down. Same with Danny Jansen. I mean... There just has to be. There has to be better cards for the same price point. There's something I'm missing here with this team. All right, it's Danny, it's, it's Danny Jansen. It's Danny Phantom. We could throw a curveball. We're going to be fine, even if he hits it hard. Jesus Christ, your pitch sucks. Am I bad for talking sh Danny? My bad. Just know, if you get the Grom, if you're going to throw a curveball, you're spiking it in the dirt. Don't throw a first strike. Why? I don't need to see it, say anything. You've seen it. It is awful well, that was a perfect release right down the middle it's gonna happen though seven to three i gotta give him a fastball hey she's gonna go terrible never mind it's going great it's going awesome we give up three all thanks to me i mean all me and my stupid decisions we're good joe mauer oh yeah oh yeah absolutely awful but it works no 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 miggy darling that's all my fault. Two down. And it just, just an awful inning. Next inning, we got to get patient again. We need more runs. I mean, lower difficulties. This man can definitely swing it a little bit. We got to get them. Change of blowing in. He's going to yank it foul. It's like a show me pitch. Okay. I don't know how many pitches there are in this AB, but it's a lot. But we win the battle. And I took my hand off the controller and didn't make Aaron Judge go flying. One down. Come on, slatter at the cock. Make the panties drop. Oh, yeah. We may be going to the bullpen soon because I think he's... Oh, that wasn't a strike? What did it miss? What? Jo oh. Full count yet again. Um, DeGrom's day is probably coming to a close because I don't know what to necessarily throw anymore in terms of sequences. I've kind of showed them all. And he's starting to foul off everything. Just kidding. Yeah! Just hit this spot. If we hit this spot, we'll be fine. Or throw it down the middle. We're great. Seven to four. Yeah, this is DeGrom's last inning. Because like I said, he's figuring him out. Maybe not. But at least the last two innings have been good. You know what? If Aaron Judge comes up again, Bryce Harper's coming in. One down. This, is, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. Two down. Griffey. That's a base hit. There we go. Get us on the board. Shoot it the other way. Beat the shift. No, no, no. No, no, no. Leaving the lefty for Javi. He loves you. And also, this whole time, that explains why I've only been seeing cutters and sliders. I really got to, if I've never seen a pitcher before, really got to look at their pitches. But Goose, don't need it. We've seen him plenty. Good piece. It's a good piece, but unfortunately, just right at him. If DeGrom gets shelled, even just a little bit, right? He gives up one run, his day is going to come to a close. Because like I said, I think he's been noticing him. He's been picking up our sequences. We floated it down the cock. That's it. DeGrom's day's over. A card that always seems to come out at the beginning of every year that I feel like you have to get. Adam Adovino, a little funky, five pitches. Doesn't necessarily throw gas, but it's just more of he's funky. His control could, could be a little bit better, honestly. But very good card. Especially for 20K. I mean, easily a must get. Easily. And here's a positive. His two seam actually has movement. It gets you double plays. It gets you out of jams. Two down. All right. All right. We got to get a little bit nasty. Two, one. Front door cuts. Let's nine. He don't want it. Danny Jansen doesn't like the fact that I was ripping on him. Apparently a good card. If I remember correctly, he's got a righty on the mound. I'm just too lazy to check. Come on, David. Do some damage. David, that ball's got to carry. She going deep. 
She going hard. She going yard. Eight to four. There we go, Titty. Wait. Never mind. There we don't go. One down. We were triple shy of the cycle. And what goose is this? Wait. This goose is apparently not the goose I've ever seen before. Throw in high 80s, low 90s. Miggy, that a baby. Gotta get him. Got to get yourself Miggy. Please do it. Nine to four. All right, later side of good. I, I thought we were cranking that one. Well, maybe even foul. Didn't expect to be a tad late, but we do give ourselves a little bit more of insurance. Did I warm up the bullpen? No, I did not. But thankfully, at some point, Alvarado was warmed up and ready to go. So he's the one coming in. Good start for Alvarado. I, that's just, that's just beautiful. I have a strange feeling that Alvarado is going to be coming out before the inning's over. One down. He's getting outs. Loud outs. But they're outs. Two down. Yes. Yes. Do a bunt dance. What? I'm the one who's being smart. You took him out. I brought in a righty to be a cuck. I'm sorry. But also, Alvarado, you, you really only bring him out. There's two lefties. That's the time you should. Other than that, to face three righties or a couple switchies, terrible idea. Roll it over into the shift. I know you want to stick that butt out. Or hit it to the one guy who's not in the shift. This guy definitely can hit. I said I was going to do it. I said I was going to do it. And Aaron Judge is pissing me the hell off. Let's go. Actually, but yeah, have to. Have to. I, I would bring in Josh Donaldson, but we're going hopper. Rice. Just a hair too late. One down. Jesus Christ, Kutch. I hype you up. I gassed you up and you sh the bed. Two down. Good pitch. Good pitch. That two Z-man movement. As long as we get three outs before we give up four runs, and there's out number one, we get the W. Our hitting cooled off. It definitely did, but it should be enough to get us the W. One down. All right, let's see it, Lee. I know he, we've shown nothing but off speed. And he's still ready for the fastball. Base it. Steamer. Oh, yes. Cutter low in away from Lee Smith. Gets us the double play. We end up winning the game nine to five. So player of the game, Miguel Cabrera. Two for five, two nukes. Should have honestly probably done better. And who should have probably, just because he was the only one with three hits, and the guy we're all talking about. Joe Maurer, three for four, a home run, a double, a triple shy of the cycle. His last AB, all my fault. It was terrible swing. Javi Baez, two for three, a home run, two ribbies, who had to have been not only probably the best player overall in this whole video, because I'm pretty sure his first game, he did nothing but hit nukes. On top of it, had to have been the most surprising card. So maybe if you guys are interested, he does have a good swing, give him a shot. And Fernando Tatis Jr., one for five, a solo shot. So when it comes to Joe Maurer, again, him specifically, is he going to hit you a lot of home runs? He'll hit you some. He's going to be more of a doubles guy, get, get on base, play good defense. But is he worth it? That's the question. With all these cards, absolutely, he's worth it. He's cheaper than Trout, unless things have changed. But as long as the cards are around 35, 40K a pop, you get all of them cheaper than Trout or roughly the same price. You get a full team of cards to hit with no pitchers but you get a full team of cards to hit with while getting joe mauer has to be the best collection bang for the buck go do it if you can but if you made it this far thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you